Hi guys, this is Sadek from Drivedin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to hide the route from various apps of your choice via Magisk. So as of now, you could see my phone has obtained route. It's on the latest Magisk version as well. But as you might be aware, once your phone has obtained route, you will not be able to use any banking and payment type of your choice. For instance, let's talk about the Paytm app. It's a quite common app in India and as you could see, it's showing as rooted device detected and it will not be able to use or proceed ahead with the app usage you will not be able to use this app on your phone if it has obtained root and this is just one example there are quite a lot of banking and payment apps that will just refuse to function if you have obtained root so in this video we'll show you how to hide the root from such banking and payment apps so that you may be able to use the apps without any issues as such so on that note let's get started first and foremost you will have to hide the magic app so for that launch the magic app tap on the settings icon and then tap on hide the magic app let's rename it to something else so for the sake of convenience let me rename it to Dwardwin. you may rename it to whatever you want and then tap on ok now the name of the magic app will be changed to Dwardwin and the app icon will also be removed it's asking for shortcut to home screen i don't want a shortcut so i'm tapping on cancel and with this let me show you this is our new magic app named as Dwardwin, and the app icon has also been removed once you have hide the magic app your next course of action is to enable Zygisk and then enforce the deny list as well. So go to the settings menu and enable the toggle next to Zygisk. Once that is done, tap on enforce deny list. And after that, let's now move on with the next step. So now you will have to add the apps to, to this deny list. So the apps that you have to add are as follows. Google Play Protect Service, Google Play Service, Google Play Store and Google Service Framework. These four are the compulsory apps. On some phones, you might not have the Google service framework app. That's completely normal. You may skip this if your phone has, but these three apps are compulsory. You have to add these three apps. Apart from that, on some phones, you might not have the Google Play Protect service. So in, on those phones, you have to skip that and add the rest of the three. On some phones, you might not have the GSF. So in that case, you have to skip this one and add the three. In my case, I have all the four apps. I'm using a Pixel phone. So on Pixel phone, you will have all the four apps. So you will have to hide the root from all these four apps. Once after that, you will then have to hide the root from the banking and payment app of your choice as well. So let me show you what needs to be done. So now after you have enabled Zygisk and enforced deny list, now go to configure deny list. Then tap on the off icon in the top right and check mark show system apps. And now let's start with hiding the root from all these apps. So let's search for play and let's first hide the root from play services tap on the checkbox it will enable all its services likewise play protect service let's hide the root from there as well then google play store do the same for that as well and then we have the google services framework so let me search for that and this is the framework app and enable that as well after that you will now have to hide the root from the banking and payment app of your choice in my case it was paytm so let me do that as well and with this we have hide the root from all these apps now you have to remove the data of all these apps as well so let's get that job done for that go to the settings menu then go to apps show all apps then tap on the offer icon and select show system and now let's remove the apps remove the data of these apps so play protect service storage and cache clear storage delete then we have the play services storage and cache clear storage clear all data delete then you have the google play store as well go there storage and cache clear storage delete after that is the framework app so let me search for that app as well go there storage and cache clear storage delete finally delete the data of the banking and payment app of your choice in my case it was the paytm app just a minute and let me remove the data of this app as well once that is done you will now have to restart your phone this restart is compulsory so let's do a restart and wait for a few seconds so if your banking and payment app is still using the safety net api then you will not be able to use the app without any issues on the other hand if your app has moved over to the play integrity api then you will also have to pass the play integrity test i'll show you how to do that as well but first let's verify if the app is still using the older safety net api or it has moved over to the newer play integrity api so if it's on the 
older API, then you may use the app now without any issues. On the other hand, if it has moved over to the new API, then you will also have to pass the plain ticket test as well. So in my case, let me verify the same. Let's open the app. So this is the Paytm app and let's wait for a few seconds and see the result. So as you could see, we are now inside the app and if I skip this and I could now easily go to the app and access the everything from the app and without any issues. So the Paytm app is still using the older safety net API and I could easily use the app without any issues as such. But there are quite a few apps which have moved over to the new play integrity API. And in that case, you will not be able to use the banking and payment app even if you have carried out all this task. This is because you also have to pass the play integrity test. And as of now, your phone might be failing this test. So let's perform a check and see. You, you should pass first and second test. As you can see, currently I'm only passing the second test. I'm not passing the first test. So if your app has moved over to the play integrity API test, then you will also have to pass the first test. You cannot and shall not pass the third test because for that you, it requires a log bootloader, which is currently not possible because we have a rooted phone. Moreover, the third test will not conflict or cause any issue with the banking apps. So simply ignore the third test and our ultimate aim is to pass the first and second test. In my case, although I'm able to use the app, but there exists quite a few apps which have moved over to this plain to GTI API checker. So you will have to now pass the first test as well. And so let's get started and I'll show you how to do just that. Although I made a separate guide and a video as well, but still I will show you once again regarding this, there are quite a few methods of getting this job done. I will show you one of those methods. The, re the rest of the methods are there in my video. So this is the video in which I have explained all the four or five methods. You may go through all these methods and try out the one which you want. As of now, let me show you one of these methods. So initially we have to hide the magic cap which we have done, then you have to enforce the denial list and hide the Google Play services and Play Store app from root. Likewise, you have to hide the banking and payment app from root as well. And then you have to enable Zygis can till here. You, we have already done all the jobs. As you could see, we have hide the root from banking and payments app as well. And the Zygis is enabled as well. So you now have to carry out the from step nine of this guide. So get hold of the latest version of plain to fixed module from here. So this is the module, download the zip file and transfer the zip file onto your phone. So once that is done, you will now have to flash this zip file via magisk. So let me show you how that could be done. Go to the modules, tap on install from storage, select the play integrity zip file and tap on OK. And it will now be flashed. Once that is done, tap on reboot and your phone will now boot to the OS. And upon booting to the OS, we will then verify the result as well. So let's just wait for the time frame. It will take only a few more seconds for that to happen. And this time around, you will again have to remove the data of the following four apps. And once that is done, you will then be able to use the app without any issues as such. But before that, there is an important thing that I would want you to show in the app. There is a slight UI issue that completely normal and nothing to worry about. So if you launch the magic app now, as you might be aware, we have already hide the root from the following four apps. But if you launch the magic app and go to the deny list section, you could see that some of the apps are unchecked and some of them are missing. For example, the play service is missing from the list and the service framework has been unchecked. It's just a UI bug in the front end, in the back end. It's all working well and good. There is no issue whatsoever. So simply ignore this UI bug and let's move ahead. So now I will once again recommend you to remove the data of all these apps. Let's first verify the module. So as you could see, the module has been flashed. The module is flashed and activated. So now you will have to now remove the data of all these apps. It's recommended that you do so once again. So go to the settings menu, then go to apps and see all apps show system. And let's once again, remove the data of all these apps. This will take only a few more seconds. So just the play protect service and this is the play services. After that, you have to do so for play store as well. So this is the play store storage and cache clear storage. Finally, it's the framework. So let me search for the framework app and delete its data as well. So once you remove the data of all these four apps, you will now have to remove the data of the banking and payment app of your choice which in my case, it's the Paytm app. So let me do that as well. And once you have removed the data of all these apps, 
you will once again have to do a restart which is a compulsory re restart so let's restart our phone and upon the restart we should now pass the plane ticket test and you will then be able to use the banking and payment app without any issues as such again i am repeating your only course of action is to pass the first and second test you cannot and will not be able to pass the third test that's completely normal and nothing to worry about so simply ignore the third test strong integrity you only have to pass the basic and the device integrity so let's now verify if our phone is passing that test or not for verifying this you will have to install the app known as plain integrity api checker you may install this app from play store so download and install the app from play store and once that is done so let's wait and let me show you so i already have this app on my phone let's now launch the app and make sure that you are online and now tap on check and now we should be passing the first and second test so let's verify the same the test result the first and second test should be passing and make sure that we are online currently if it's taking a little bit longer not an issue as you could see we are now passing the first and second test so if your banking app is now using a plain integrity api test then also your phone will be able to your phone will be able to run that app without any issue so with this your phone is now passing both the safety net as well as plain integrity so you could now use all the banking and payment app on your phone which is currently rooted by magisk without any issues so just to round off some apps are still using the safety net test and in those phones you could easily simply use the safety net tweak and get the job done by simply hiding the root from from that app but most of the banking apps have now moved ahead with the plain integrity test as well and for those banking apps you will have to pass the test and regarding the passing of the test i have shown four to five methods out of which i have shown a single method if you want to verify or try out any of the other methods then this guide is there and apart from that i have shown all these methods in the video as well you could refer to my video and get this job done and just remember you have to pass the first and second test and after that you will be able to use all the banking and payment app without any issues so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching